So that was a really fun one. Let's go uh, hit the comma key and let's keep moving right along. Let's go in here to the sim gravity and we'll hit no. We don't need to save any of that information. Now it did save our previous dynamics over here or the settings that we dialed in in the dynamics menu. So just something to keep in mind uh, as you're going through these projects. But the first thing it's gonna tell you is press collision volume or recalc in the dynamics menu. So basically, just in case you have a collision volume already calculated, if we ran this right now, it would still think, uh, let's go ahead and crank up this gravity strength here. If we press this gravity right now, it may still have that human body in memory. Uh, so in order to avoid that, we already have, like we mentioned before, we have this polysphere selected. So this is our what's gonna simulate. Everything else that's visible in our scene is gonna turn into a collision mesh as soon as I uh, either turn this on and if you already have collision volume turned on, hitting recalc. Now again, we have the resolution cranked all the way up. Uh, you know, I think the default's at 2048 or something like that. You could always turn that down and you know, it goes a little bit faster when you recalculate. It won't be as precise, but you know, for simple objects, you probably don't need that kind of precision. So now here we have floor collision on and gravity turned on. Uh, the gravity strength, the default may be at 10. So we're gonna go through here and we're gonna run the simulation and you're gonna see as this falls down, it kind of goes through in bunches and then falls and drapes over here. Let's go ahead and uh, turn our camera to the side here. And then as we continue to run the simulation, it's gonna kind of fall uh, through here. Now you can see it's kind of puddling on itself here. If we want, oh, another cool thing you can see is if we go over here to the texture map. Oh, we actually have just a texture applied. It's not a poly paint, we just have a texture loaded up in here. So you can go in here to texture, import, bring in any textures you want and uh, apply it. In fact, I can just quickly go in here and I can just swap this out with, you know, another texture if I want. And another thing I wanted to mention is it, it doesn't have any self collision on. So when it got to the bottom and it kind of puddled on the ground, it wasn't, the calculations weren't taken to, into account um, itself. It was taken into account these collision volumes, uh, but it wasn't looking at itself as part of a way to maintain surface area or keep those dynamic relationships in check. So what I'm gonna do is, and this time I'm gonna run uh, this with self collision uh, at two and then run simulation. And now it's gonna hit and you're gonna see it'll it'll calculate with the collision volume and then as it runs through, uh, it'll puddle over here and then it'll kind of fall to the ground and it's a little bit more aware of itself. Now I can crank up the self collision and also firmness. The lower the firmness, the more silky and droopy uh, your cloth can get. And then the higher the firmness, Let's keep it like at five, uh, the more it's going to be, yeah, now it's gonna kind of be a ball that kind of rolls around. Now, one thing to bring up kind of early is that this gravity strength is going to affect how fast the simulation runs as well as the simulation iteration. So it's running a hundred iterations of a simulation. It's basically looking at all the geometry that makes up your mesh and going, hey, as this thing moves through space, go through and calculate these relationships to make it behave like cloth a hundred times, um, you know, let's see. So I'm just gonna hover over this and hold down control. Yeah, and basically it's not like a hundred times a second or a minute or anything like that. It's basically a hundred times per movement. Uh, so if I was to go through here and say BCK, which is our cloth hook brush and pull this down as I'm moving this, it's cal it's recalculating with every movement a uh, hundred times across the surface of the mesh to ensure that it's maintaining those physical relationships to give us the result that we're looking for as we're doing a cloth sim. And you can also see this geometry is just like, a, it's like a Dynamesh. It's not special, it doesn't all have to be quads. You can run simulation on any type of mesh. Uh, as long as it's geometry and as long as it has verts, uh, it'll run the cloth simulation. It's also pretty solid uh, as far as performance and predictability, so excellent. It's really, really cool, really fast. But speaking of fast, you know, the gravity strength at 10 is making it go pretty fast. So it may not be giving these iterations enough time to calculate. So two things you can do, you can either drop that gravity strength so it runs the simulation a little slower and gives it a little more time to develop those relationships and calculate those, those relationships. Let's turn that firmness down so we can actually get it to go through the chute. There we go. So now it's getting plenty of time to go through here and make good calculations and maintain these relationships uh, properly. Another thing you can do is you can keep this up at 10, but you can also crank up this iterations. So now as it falls through, it's gonna be slower because it's doing more calculations, but it's gonna be more accurate. 
each each you know it's doing a thousand per movement so now it's being very very precise on looking at the firmness and the strength and the gravity and making the calculations across the uh, collision volume to get you an even more accurate result it'll be a little slower you know but while you're doing this yeah, your, your results will be a little predictable so if I drop this back down to like 50 and I crank up the gravity strength it may just fall through the object because it doesn't have enough time to calculate the collision volume and maintain these relationships and calculate uh, cloth simulation so that's just a way to kind of balance how the cloth is going to perform in your scene